So this video feels kind of pointless, but at the same time, not pointless? Here's what I mean. So for those of you that don't know, DICE or EA or whoever has released the open beta for Battlefield 2042. And this is for people who actually purchased it. Anybody who didn't can play it on the 8th, which is tomorrow by the time of this recording, I believe. But anyways, and the reason why I think it might be pointless is because they say that the open beta is months old and that the bugs and optimization and all that have already been fixed. So this is why I'm kind of like hesitant to even make this video because why would I judge an old build when everything's going to be fixed by the time that they launch? Well, I'll tell you. I don't believe them. I don't believe that this is an old build because how are they going to release a beta and give us an older build, right? These AAA developers have been known to lie, say that a beta is a beta, but that beta ends up being the freaking launch title. That's like happened way too many times for this to be a coincidence. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to judge this as if it is the current build of the game and we'll go from there. But if it turns out that this is an older build, then I guess I'll just make another video saying, whoops, my bad. I guess I was wrong. So let's go ahead and get into it, huh? So let's go ahead and start with all the issues that I have with this open beta. I'm going to start with the HUD. The HUD is broken half the time, and I was never really able to open up the map to see where I was actually going. So most of the time I would get lost until I actually figured out the freaking landmarks. Another thing, the ping was completely broken. It may have worked once or twice if you asked it nicely, but a majority of the time it almost never worked. So I was unable to call out enemies or tell my teammates where to go or where to attack another thing about the hud that i don't understand is why do things change when you're aiming in for example when you aim in you can now see if your weapon is semi-auto burst or full auto and when you aim out the button switches to the attachment menu also when you aim in you can now see the compass which i honestly didn't notice until after looking through recordings question why are these features hidden and not on at all times the world may never know but if i wanted to turn it off i'd turn off the HUD entirely, not just one or two features. I think they might have done it just to save on HUD space, but I mean, the HUD itself just doesn't look good in my opinion. But I mean, it doesn't make any sense because like the little features that they're hiding are very tiny. Like, they could have easily added them in and not hid them behind other features. So I don't get that one. But anyways, here's a bit of a nitpick here. Did anybody feel that the grenade should have been automatically tossed when you press the button? Or do you like what they did there? You like press the G button and he pulls out the grenade and then you have to actually toss it after he pulls it out. Like I just prefer to be tossed when I I press the G button like I'm so used to that when you play games like Escape from Tarkov, Ready or Not and all these games that I've been playing. Just thought I'd mention that. Continuing on. There was a lot of performance issues like frame drops, stutters, desync, lag, disconnects, several crashes. The game at time would freeze and lock in place sometimes and those lock in places are whenever I decide to actually shoot at somebody. It's like I'm playing freaking Escape from Tarkov again because I end up dying because the freaking game just freezes on me while I'm in the middle of freaking combat and these performance issues would happen more often than than not. There were animation bugs, teleporting enemies, a bug where people would go in and out of walls or floors, floating bodies that have basically been with the franchise forever at this point ever since they started up the frostbite engine and they just never freaking fixed it as far as I can tell. Some of the guns never kept their attachments after you died, namely the AK and the Vector, but all the guns get reset after every match and it seems as if they put you as a random specialist every freaking match. Like I'm never the same one as the one that I was before. We'll talk more about the specialists a little bit later but right now I just want to stick with the guns so uh the only ones that are worth using in this open beta was the assault rifle and the pistol the DMR and the sniper rifle felt very underpowered especially when I tried to shoot somebody from a distance it took maybe like three or four shots to actually kill him when that really shouldn't be the case I mean these weapons have big fucking bullets like they should be able to kill people within one or two shots or at least that's just my opinion if you guys got a different opinion let me know I'm not a gun nut I'm just assuming here but uh yeah I'm not saying that you shouldn't use you know the other guns that are there I'm just saying that the only ones that seem to be functioning correctly or the assault rifle and the pistol if there was anything that i kind of disliked about this it was probably the ai the ai honestly does not feel fun to play against and it feels very unsatisfying when you actually kill one you're thinking like oh yeah it's a player and then you kill him and it's like oh an ai oh and now that matches are going to be 128 players you can definitely tell when your match is only filled with ais because the ais are pretty dumb like they'll literally just stand there and let you shoot at them not moving at all or they're like trying to fly a helicopter and they're just kind of like spazzing out because they don't know what to do. I've even seen AI in the tank and they're just like turning the turret and turning the tank at the same time and uh, it's AI is freaking not all there. Like I remember killing a freaking helicopter thinking oh yeah dude I just killed a fucking dude that was flying a helicopter. All AI. Oh. But I mean I guess if the server's full it's not that big of an issue but if it isn't that full then you're gonna have to deal with the dumb AI. I hope they freaking you know make them better. Make them more of a challenge. 
but I guess we'll see. I feel like working on AI takes a lot longer than what they said they had this beta out for, but that's just me. When it comes to vehicle play, I would say that it's actually pretty good, but the only issue that I had with it is that some of the vehicles kept skipping everywhere. Also, I feel like helicopters were freaking like OP in this freaking game. Like if you didn't take them out right away, they'd freaking destroy you. But I mean, it was tough to kind of take out because the rocket launchers that you get are freaking useless. Like they don't have enough ammo to actually do the job. Or if you actually hit one, it only takes like a minuscule of health away from a vehicle. Rockets need a buff and man, this is the future. Give me more freaking rockets. Like the rockets should be light or something. All right, so let's talk about this infamous specialist system. You probably heard me say that I hate the idea of the specialist system and honestly, it hasn't changed. I still don't like it. I think if I was to have a question to the developers of this game, it's what was wrong with the class system? The class system was such a staple of the Battlefield series that without it, it just feels like something important is missing. The classes gave players purpose. I want to be an engineer so that I can fix up tanks and help blow them up if there's too many. I want to be a medic so I can revive my friends and provide medical care if they need it. But no, now health regenerates and tanks can heal by themselves. I'm not saying that this new system is a bad thing, but it definitely makes the game more arcadey and less unique. When I was playing with my buddy, he had said that they already have a mode just like this. This is Ground War from Modern Warfare 2019. I'm like, yeah, damn, you're kind of right. Another thing that I dislike about the specialists is that they're basically heroes now. So now when I'm sitting in a vehicle, I see fucking like two or three of the same people around me. Like nothing is unique about them. Like what happened to the customization, man? Like you can't even tell who's on the other fucking team sometimes. Like if they don't have that little blue dot above them or that little red dot that shows up occasionally, you're not gonna know who's on your team or not. Like the implementation of these specialists is just poor. It's like at least give the enemy team like darker uniforms or a different color uniform. Like the only thing that's unique about them is that they get like a gadget and so far every gadget that I've used is basically a non-factor. Like I've tried Boris's turret and I don't think it's actually killed anything. I'm not entirely sure if it's something that actually locks on to people or if I have to actually control it myself. I tried McKay's grappling hook and I mean it could get me to the top of buildings but that's about it. My buddy was actually using it to get around the map a little bit. Maria's thing? I don't think I saw anybody healing anybody. Like for the most part people just kept dying off. I maybe got revived like once or twice and it wasn't by the gun that she has it was because somebody came up to me and freaking held e which i don't like that feature either I prefer like where you charge up the paddles and then hit him and then run away with well, this new system you have to freaking stand on top of him and do it which you're more likely to get killed by doing that casper's ability i mean i feel like somebody used it to like jam my tank once or twice but i think that was about it unless that's a uav maybe they did use it a couple of times but i don't remember i honestly haven't seen them being used like that effectively and actually i was talking with one of my cousins he was saying that nobody knows how to get ammo or if somebody's trying to give out ammo he doesn't know who to give it to same thing with health there's no like indication of who needs what so i mean the class system has just been torn out and they didn't think anything about it it's just another reason why i hate the specialist system it was very poorly thought out but one thing's for sure i could give a shit about their backstories the only thing i gotta say about the specialist system is rest in peace michael k williams that really sucks bro i hope he's in a better place but yeah i think i've bashed the game enough here let's go ahead and go into the things that i actually liked about it this open beta was fun as hell if you're someone that's looking for a game that screams battlefield with epic battles action that's non-stop or if you were a fan of battlefield 3 and 4 look no further they done did it they nailed it you know it's kind of crazy because i remember stopping like in the middle of the battlefield and just like looking up and seeing a plane going over my head and it's on fire because it's going down and i'm just like wow this looks like a freaking cinematic trailer yo this game is gorgeous here i was thinking that they peaked in battlefield 5 but they somehow did it again the game looks stunning it's just a shame that i don't have a better graphics card because i would have loved to have seen the beauty that this game really provides when it comes to gameplay and movement i would say that it's a bit of a downgrade but i think that it gets the job done like i think i prefer battlefield 5's gameplay compared to this one but it's not a big deal to be honest because this one feels a little more arcadey this time around but it gets the job done can't really complain too much about that one the sounds a chef's kiss. This is some of the best sounds that I've heard from a battlefield in a while. I was genuinely scared when I heard helicopters coming after me, raining fire right behind me. I'm like, oh my god. And I can actually hear people for once where they're coming from, like, you know, from the correct direction. Like, I look over there and I see them. I'm like, da 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 da. A tank actually sounds like a tank. It's so satisfying when I freaking shoot it, and even more satisfying when my target explodes. The only issue that I had with the sound is that sometimes there would be some that are missing, like, uh, 
Boris's turn, for example, and grenades. I never heard grenades. But aside from that, it was actually pretty good. Uh, when it came to map events, like the rocket exploding or launching, that was pretty freaking cool. Or the tornado coming in. The tornado was actually pretty cool, but it almost never spawned where the action was. Like, it was almost always toward the edge of the map and almost never on actual objectives where people were playing. I mean, it eventually, like, moves to the objectives, but by the time that it actually gets to one, it feels like the game already ends. So I'm not sure what was up with that, but I mean, I think that there was quite a bit of people who kind of just stopped playing and went to go play in the freaking storm. Like, he, I saw, like, so many people just screwing around on it. It's pretty fun if you take vehicles into it, too. Uh, the map itself, uh, I thought it was pretty good. Um, I don't think that there's anything that they really need to change around. Maybe add more, um, things to hide behind between the B and the E objective, because all of that is just freaking no man's land. I noticed that there was, like, a distinct... Well, I mean, mm, there was a certain level of destruction, I would say. Like, you could, like, definitely take down some buildings. Or at least blow a hole through them. I haven't seen them actually fall down. But I, I kind of like how you can actually destroy the rocket. But I kind of wish that you could actually, like, drop the freaking B building. Like how you could in freaking Battlefield 4 with that skyscraper. I kind of wish that there was more destruction. But, I mean, I guess there's, like, a little bit of destruction here and there. You know, like, a good balance of it. But, yeah, um, overall... I think there's definitely more cons than there is pros, and that really kind of sucks because I know a lot of people were actually looking forward to this game. I mean, some people are still going to play it because, uh, again, the gameplay was pretty fun, but you start to notice like a bunch of issues and you're pointing them out and it starts to stack on each other and you're like, oh my god, what the frack is wrong with this game? But I am judging it as if this is the current build of the game, but according to DICE or EA, this build that they're releasing to us is actually pretty old, or so they say. I don't believe them, but who knows, maybe it it is actually true that this is an older build but even if it is an older build there's still a lot of glaring issues that i feel are gonna take more than just four months to actually fix this game could definitely use like another year under its belt to get everything squared away but again this is just what i was given i don't know what their newer version looks like so with that all being said i think i'm gonna end the video here so what are your thoughts was your experience just as bad as mine let me know if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like battlefield 2042 then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or click on the join button that's right down below. Any donation helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content like this or any post that I decide to post. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.